In this video, you are going to learn about Django's folder structure and also learn how to create your first application inside your Django project. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Well, hi, I am Shubham and subscribe to become a better software developer. So in the last video, we have already created our project and also experimented on how it looks on the browser. So in this one, let's start by looking at the folder structure. Actually, this is only Django projects folder structure and we will create an Django app inside the project and we will also look at that. So right now, let's explore Django's folder structure of project. So over here in the SRC, that is our project name in that we have a file called as manage.py. So with the help of manage.py file, we run our project, we make migrations in our project, run test cases, basically do everything related to server. Okay. Then we have another folder called as SRC, which is if we expand it, it is the settings or like you can say project folder inside this, we have init.py or dunder init.py which is like empty python file which does not consist of anything and we will majorly mostly not write anything inside this file it only indicates that this folder can be python accessed and python files are present in this folder then we have ascii.py or asgi.py we are majorly not going to touch this file unless we are writing something related to real-time communication or hosting our project. Then we have settings.py. This file consists of all the settings related to our project and applications. So whatever setting you want to write, we have to write it over here. Let's say tomorrow you want to send an email. For email, all the related configuration you are going to store in settings.py and if there is any sensitive data that you want to like access in your project, you will keep it in environment file that is .env and access it in settings.py and assign it to a variable and then use it further in your project. So this is the settings.py. This is urls.py file. This is urls of project. Okay and it has only one right now one path and if we go to admin we will be able to access admin so let's say tomorrow we add more applications in our project so when we add that we have to include all the paths over here like let's say that in the browser you want slash login or slash register then you will enter it over here or also you will create more urls.py and in in those files you will enter it and then we have WSGI file. This is also related to hosting. So we are not mostly going to change it. And finally, we have at our project level db.sqlite. That is our database, of course. So if you don't want SQLite DB, then that configuration is also mentioned in our settings.py file. So if you go down in the settings.py file, let me quickly minimize this over here. If we scroll down, you can see database. And in database right now, the default one is SQL Lite. So that is what it is using. So if you want to change it to any other database, let's say MySQL or Postgres, you can do it over here. Then more settings such as templates, like where you want to keep HTML file that we are going to see in this uh, particular video, then middlewares, then installed apps, everything is mentioned over here. Now let's say that you want to display something of your own on the browser. Let's say that we want to display hello world on the browser. So in order to display that we have to create a Django app. So what is a Django app? Well, basically it is like sub modules that you can divide your projects into. For example, if you take e-commerce, right in that checkout can be a app, then products can be another app, then user authorization or accounts can be another app. So likewise, we divide our entire project into smaller apps and that is what is app in the django so let's go ahead and create our first app and for that what we'll do is we'll activate our environment i'm going to say list since we are inside a directory i have to activate my environment which is inside the install folder so i'm going to say source.venb bin and activate once this is done let's go inside cd sorry inside our src folder and what we'll say is django dash admin start app and we'll call whatever the app name is over here so i will call my app as first and it went ahead and created our app first so over here if you look inside the src you can see a new folder has been created which is first 
and if we expand this inside this there are multiple files and one folder migrations we are going to ignore for now because i will teach you sometime later actually i already have a series covered on migration you can check that out once you are done with these basics then comes init file we have already explored the init file then we have admin so django already provides us with admin panel and whenever we create any table or model we can register it in admin side and do all the CRUD operations via admin side also. So that can be handled over here. Then comes app. We don't really touch this unless like you have been doing something complex work. Now comes models.py. In models.py, we write our tables. Instead of tables, actually we write Python classes and those are actually migrated and created as tables in the database when we run the specific commands. So that is what models is about. Tests, of course, you can go ahead and write test cases for all your projects and apps. Then comes views. Views is where you write all your business logic. It can retrieve data, do all the database operations from here and then display it on the template, which is not present. So we will create template soon. So this is the entire folder structure of the Django project and app. So now let's say that tomorrow you come and you create another app, that app will also have the similar folder structure. And in order to let Django project know that there is something called as first app, we have to go inside src settings.py and in installed underscore apps, we will specify our app name that is first. So what we have done is we have come to settings.py of the Django project and in inside the installed apps, we say that first. That means we let our Django project know that there is something called as first, which is one of the apps that we have created. So that's why we have specified it over here. If we don't specify, Django won't know that there is something called as first app. So now let's say that you want to show a hello world on the browser. So for that, we will go to views and we will call create a function called as dev index this will take in request this is always there request and then what we'll do is we'll return something from here but what we will return we will return http response from here saying hello world uh, if you hover on this it says http response is not defined so let's import that from django.http import http response so we have imported that let me remove this this is not required save this and let's run our project so we'll say it as python manage dot py run server this is the command to run our project so it is python then this file that is manage.py as I told you all over uh, like in the start of this video manage.py and run server run server will like run our project let's ignore these errors for now I will tell you all later and let's go to browser over here you can see the screen of the project that we created last time but how do we access the newly created function so for that what we will have to do is we will have to go to our urls.py let's go over here and in this one we will have to specify our index function okay or we will have to tell our project that there is something called as index and when do we load that index we will load it on blank path so we will have to import that first so from first import views okay let me correct the spelling of import so views and we will say in the path when the path is index or when the path is blank load views dot index function okay and over here we have also have to specify a name you can ignore this name but i like specifying it because we can use it uh, later on so we will say index and put a comma over here so let's go back to our browser refresh this and as you can see on the blank path hello world came that is because we have created a path or created a url which on blank path loads our uh, views index function which comes from our first app so let's go to index function and 
the index function receives a request which is totally fine and then it returns http response which says hello world so this is how we are able to create our django app and also show it on our browser now let's say that you wanted to load some html file instead of this just text because that is what actually web development is so in order to load html file right i will actually copy duplicate this and comment out the old one for this one we have to specify renderer or renderer in this one first we pass the request the one which we receive from the index function and then we specify index.html or whatever the html file is there we specify that but if you notice we haven't created that index.html correct so let's go ahead and create our index.html so for that i will come to this src directory and in this one we are going to create a folder called templates okay and in that folder we are going to create something called as index.html and in this one let me use emit to create html skeleton and here we'll say code with sj and i'll do is h1 hello world from html file okay let's save this but there is one more thing like when we created the django app we had to specify it in settings.py likewise we have to specify the templates folder in our settings.py so for that what we'll do is we'll go on top and over here we'll create a variable called as template dir we'll take it as base directory base directory front slash and then we'll say templates whatever the folder name is so that is templates over here let's save this take this template directory scroll down scroll down scroll down we'll go to line number 56 where it says templates and in this one over here you can see dirs so directories so over here we'll specify the template directory the one which we just created on top so let's save this and this is already done so let's go to our browser and see if it changes or not and if you see now it says code with sj because that is the title i have specified and hello world from the html file i know at the start it feels like what am i doing what is this why like this and every all sorts of question must be coming to your head but trust me it is just at the start that you will struggle or like you will have hard time learning this but once you cross these basic things you will be like it is so easy to create applications using django so just trust me on this one and if you have not understood anything just rewatch this video and make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel because it really helps me and it will also help other people who wants to learn Django. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.